This is probably my pride and joy. If you want to bury me in this coat when I'm 98 years old, I would love that. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm so happy that you're joining me for this video because it's my first fashion video of 2023. And because I did Vlogmas, if you guys watched my Vlogmas, I did so many vlogs in a row that I was so excited to start filming more fashion oriented videos for the new year. And this was requested by someone over on Instagram. I think it was Mariah. So if you're watching this, thank you for suggesting this because this is a video that I I'm really happy to be filming for you guys and I feel like it's gonna be very helpful for you or I hope it is. And it's also one that I love watching on other people's channels on YouTube. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my coat collection today. If you're new here, I live in New York City and I have quite a lot of coats. I joke all the time in my Instagram captions that like my collection is out of control and it might be, but I seriously get so much use out of every single one of these and they all have their different like qualities, styles, purposes, functionality. So I want to run through everything with you guys and I'm just really happy to be jumping in with the fashion videos in 2023. So make sure you guys are subscribed. I do a ton of like these types of videos where I'll like sit down and show you guys hauls or like different parts of my fashion wardrobe, but then I do vlogs as well so you guys can see like my everyday life and all that kind of stuff. And I would absolutely love to have you. So we're going to start from this end. As you guys can see, I tried to be sneaky and space out my olive green coats, but I did get one more for Christmas. So that brings us to a total of three, which might sound a little bit crazy, but this is a color that I get a lot of use out of. So we're gonna start with my Super Puff from Aritzia. This I just got for Christmas, as I mentioned. And this coat is way more functional than I thought it was going to be because when I tried it on in the store, I did end up going with the shorty version. I think that's what it's called. Let me double check. This is the super shorty. It's a good thing I looked, otherwise I'd already be giving you guys false information. Um, but this is in the olive green color. I saw this in the store when I was at home. And because I've had an obsession with this color for probably the past like six months, I have been adding a ton of it into my wardrobe, but it has gotten so much use in like my sneakers and my trench coat that you guys will see later. And I've had this other coat for like three years now. And I just know it's a very well-worn color in my wardrobe and it's super easy to pair with different neutrals and that's basically what my wardrobe consists of so that's why I went with this color and then the length I honestly just liked the way that this one looked more than the one that was like a regular waistcoat length just because this looked more intentional whereas the other one looked like I was just throwing on a jacket so I went with the super shorty this has a detachable hood it's super warm I think there are down feathers in here if I'm not mistaken, as you guys can tell, I know a ton about super puffs. <laughs> um, but I wanted to wear this more so like throwing over a workout outfit with a matching sweat set, more of like a casual coat. I definitely have my trenches and like long wool coats for when I'm dressing up, which is a majority of the time. But I found myself wearing like fancy coats when I was going to the gym and I'm trying to go a lot more this year so I figured I would pick up something that was a little bit more functional but still along the lines of my personal style so this is the first one it is an investment I think this one is around 225 but for something like this that is functional and it's warm and it's really good quality I thought that it would be worth it in the end and I just love Aritzia in general so that was kind of a no-brainer and then we're gonna move on to this Abercrombie number which still has the tag on it. I have this weird thing where I will like wear my clothes with the tags on it until like someone points out that it's hanging out the back of my shirt. I don't know why I would do that to myself, but this is a little toggle coat. It's a dupe for the, is it a totem coat? I don't know why I'm thinking. I think it is a totem coat. I'm like mixing it up because I know that they came out with the newer one that's like has the contrast stitching, but I saw this and saw how similar it was to that designer coat and was like, I think I really need that. And at the time it was sold out online and I went a little psycho and I left during my lunch break to walk to the Abercrombie and Fish store, which is like around the corner from my office. And I was like scouring the store for this item. So I ended up finding it upstairs. I tried on a couple different sizes. I did the small and the medium. I know I wanted it to look a little bit like more fluffy and oversized on top because it does have this like Sherpa look to it, but I ended up going with a small in the end and I think this is fully stocked online so I can link this for you guys. But it's a very like elevated but cozy jacket. And I think that sometimes when it comes to 
a teddy jacket. I've had other ones in the past and I just feel like they're a very athleisure type of coat. Sorry if the light is going in and out. We are working with the windows in my roommate's room. Um, but this was something that I thought was cozy, but still chic. And I love wearing this with all black underneath, gray jeans with a black top. You can also do like a cream top and like jeans. I don't know. I feel like this is obviously a very neutral coat and it's easy to throw over any like base layer. And it's also super warm too. And then this third one is like my tried and true. I think Mango still sells this in whatever version they have out this year. But this is my knit coat again. This is more so for like the fall months and going into the spring because it's it's very warm, but it's not New York City winter warm. So I do wear this more so like in October, November. And then when it gets super cold out, I kind of like put it to the back of the closet and we break out the wool coats. But the length on this is so stunning. The weight of the fabric is super heavy. It's a very nice quality coat and I've gotten a ton of use out of it. This, believe it or not, is my only camel coat if you want to consider it that in my wardrobe so I reach for this a lot and I feel like because I have this for the transitional months that I do need a wool coat for the winter so maybe that will be on my shopping list coming up soon but I love just throwing this on over something sometimes I wear this like in the house if I'm freezing I'll just throw it on because it's that soft but it also looks very like elevated if that makes sense it's one of those pieces where you're super cozy, but then also looking very like classic at the same time. So highly recommend this one. I think the price for the quality is really, really good. And, and I typically always feel that way about Mango. And it's just a really nice shade of camel too. It's not too pink. It's not too yellow. And I don't think I will ever get rid of this. I'll probably wear this when I'm like a grandma walking my dog. <laughs> okay, so we're already on to another olive green number. This coat, like amongst all of my coats, I think this is probably the one that I get the most questions on and I think that's so funny because I think that in the past I have viewed trench coats as only like a spring wear type of piece but this is like my saving grace in my wardrobe this is a olive green trench from one mile that comes in three different colors my sister is considering getting like the classic khaki color but this is like the trench coat of all trench coats especially for the price I think it's around $200, but the quality and the fit and the details are just like, I would pay like $400 for something like this. And you guys are probably gonna get annoyed about how much I love this coat as I'm talking you guys through it, but I just feel so put together when I wear this. And the main reason why is because normally when I would wear like a raincoat, it would be like a not form fitting, not flattering, very functional coat. And this is a beautiful and functional raincoat. So it's like, you're just hitting like all the high points when you're wearing this jacket. So I do wear this in like a practicality situation where it's raining outside and then I'll just use an umbrella because it doesn't have a hood. That's the only downfall of this, but it's just so stunning. It protects my clothes. It has a little um, tie waist belt so that you can fully close it and not have uncomfortable like rainy wet jeans or like whatever pants you're wearing on the bottom. I love wearing this with like a workout outfit underneath and some high socks and sneakers. It looks very chic and on the go. And this is like my coffee run go-to coat. Um, I don't know what else I could say about it. I love that it has these little like tortoise buttons on it too. I just feel like that elevates it a little bit more. And it has paneling on the sides on the front and then it also continues to the back. It has some shoulder detail. The length is absolutely perfect. It's a little bit longer, which I like, especially if you are trying to go for like a practical raincoat. And the color obviously is just a given. So really, really love this one, highly recommend it. And because it comes in different colors too, I feel like this trench is for everybody. I don't know, maybe I'm overstepping, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so the next one I wanted to include into this video because of what it is and not necessarily the brand that it's from but I have this oversized black coat and it's very drapey. You could see that there's not much shape to it, but in the winter time, I do wear a lot of oversized knits and straight leg trousers, leather pants, all that kind of stuff. And I just kind of like continue with that theme when it comes to my coats. And this one is just like a big drapey black coat. I will link some other ones for you guys, just in case you need one of these in your wardrobe, because I've seen a bunch of ones that I do want to go after. I love the idea of having a black oversized coat in your wardrobe not necessarily this one obviously but i think that it's a necessity it's super easy to throw over any outfit obviously this is like the most neutral that it gets but a black oversized coat and a black beanie and some sunglasses for some reason just like 
makes you feel so cool. And I know that sounds, I don't know, juvenile, but I just feel very like put together. I could be wearing like sweats underneath, but throwing on like a black oversized coat and a matching beanie just makes me feel like I tried a little bit more. And I think it's just because it's a very minimal and simple piece that it just elevates your outfit and it makes you look super chic no matter what you're wearing underneath. So black oversized coat, just wanted to include this so that you guys just think about it in your wardrobe if you don't already have one because it's honestly like one of my most used and when I just like don't know what coat to throw on, this is gonna be that one. And then we will move on to probably the saddest coat in my collection and it's because I don't think that mangoes, it's not mango. Oh, yes it is. I don't think they sell this anymore. I know that they have wonderful, wonderful coats on mango and that's something else that I'm like stressing a little bit too late in this video that I have a bunch of different brands on here, but mango is like, honestly, like they do super nice quality coats and they're at a nice price point considering the fact that they're made of like merino wool. I do also have to admit that Zara does a very nice wool coat as long as it's that fabric and it's not like a cheap like polyester. Um, but yeah, this is my gray coat from Mango. I'm gonna try to find a similar one for you guys, I promise, and I will link it down below. But I just shot in this today and it kind of like kickstarted me to film this video today because I was like, I just feel like this is, this is just it. Like the wide lapels on the front here is such a nice detail to it. It has little like um, wrist cuffs. So it has like this bat winged sleeve if you can tell there so it kind of creates like this heavier like oversized look on the top which I love for the winter time but then it also has a little belt here if you're someone that struggles with like wearing oversized clothing or if you're on the shorter side definitely go for a belted coat because that's something that's going to really draw on your waist give you a little bit of shape and then you won't have to worry about looking like you're drowning in it um but again you guys know that I talk about length all the time and this one comes down like probably like a midi coat a little bit longer than that super huge like front pockets which is important because my hands are always freezing so i'm always like shoving my hands in my pockets um but yeah i need to depill this a little bit that's my only like gripe with it but it really is such a nice coat and i think that the color gray was something that was so i don't know i just thought it made me look pale and washed out and as you can see like i'm wearing a gray blazer we have a gray coat and i've added a lot of gray into my wardrobe and i just think it's one of those neutral colors that is a little bit underrated. So that's why I wanted to mention this one to you and also just for the fact that Mango do really, really nice, like very high quality coats. So I'm gonna link everything that I have here and then I'm also gonna link like my coat wish list so that you guys have some options to look through. But definitely go on Mango and another secret too is to go on the Mango outlet because they have stocked coats from years prior that are 1000% still in style, but they are like 30% off or more. And it's like, it's like, I know I don't need more, but I go on there and I'm like, do I though? Because I could choose like five of these and be happy with them. So anyway, we are moving on to my Noble London coat. This is probably my pride and joy only because, not only because, I'm gonna tell you like seven reasons why I'm obsessed with this coat. So. We have the pattern. It's like a very nice boucle. Almost looks like a tweed fabric, but it's way softer than that. The colors in it are like this cream and black and it makes it look really nice. Like it gives it a nice pattern and texture, if that makes sense. And it's just amazing quality. Like the weight of it is very, very nice. It has the tie waist, so you can wear it closed or open. And because it has the cream and the black, I feel like it's easier to pair with a bunch of different neutrals because it already has a couple of colors in there. So you have like this warmer cream inside of it. So you can like dress it in so many different ways. You could put like a cream sweater underneath it instead of just wearing all black underneath. This is one that is on the pricier side, but again, I've had this in my wardrobe. This is, I think it's the second year that I've had this. And this was the coat, if I'm being honest, was the most, the one that I was the most excited to wear just because I remember like, again, throwing on a coat over any sort of outfit. If the coat is already elevated, it does all the work for you. So you just feel chic every single time you put it on, no matter like what the base layer is. So absolutely obsessed with this. I feel like a little weirdo talking about coats in this way, but this is like when you're in the winter time and you're in New York City and it's freezing cold or wherever you are and it's freezing cold, your jacket is really the only thing that people see and that's why I'm so into coats is because that is what makes the outfit. So love this, gonna keep it in my wardrobe forever. I'm like, if you wanna bury me in this coat when I'm 98 years old, I would love that. 
And then the last one, my other favorite, we saved it for last because I also think that this one is a few years old from Zara, but this is what we're talking about when I tell you guys that Zara actually does a very nice wool coat. Now, this is in an olive green color, but as you can see, it's a little bit more muted than the other ones that I have here. It's kind of has like a grayish tone to it, but it is still olive green. So it's a very muted color in my wardrobe, but that makes it a lot easier for me to pair with different things. And I know that it looks a little bit boring that I only have neutrals on this rack, but honestly, I know myself and I will not get used out of something unless it's a neutral. So I just, I don't know. Is it a crime that I want it to be easy for me to get dressed in the morning and like make it easy for myself to like feel and look put together and chic? I don't, I don't think that's a crime. So this is a really nice coat to throw over the top. It's wool, but it's very lightweight. So this is the type of fabric that you want to go for if you don't want something super bulky, but you still want it to keep you warm. I think it is 100% wool, which is honestly very nice. And I'm surprised that Zara does things like this, but that's why they are so addicting is because they have like some really cheap, like terrible quality clothing. And then they do things like this. And I'm like, can you guys just like pick a side and like pick the high quality, nice, pieces side so that we're all happy but I'm so happy that I have this olive green wool coat in my wardrobe I think it's something that I was like am I really gonna get a lot of use out of this when I have a black coat and I have a camel coat and like all those other like really plain like base level neutrals and the answer is yes I have really gotten maybe even more use of this out of the years that I've owned it and I just think that it's something that ages super well and it's just super easy to style I feel like this is something where I always say if you're going to add color into your wardrobe olive green is a really good way to do that because it kind of is in that like khaki family where you don't feel like you're going too far out of your comfort zone but still adding something that is a little bit different so that is everything that I have to share with you guys for my coat collection and I have a few others in my wardrobe but these are like the main attraction when it comes to my coats and the ones that I wear like non-stop so I wanted to make sure that I mentioned a good mixture of ones that I think you should have or ones that you actually have in your wardrobe and just solidify that for you um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as I said I will link as many of these as I can down below or similar ones if they're not available but I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you guys subscribe if you are not already. I would be so happy to have you. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I hope to see you in my next video.